This is recording, isn't it? No. I'm lying. Okay, so hatred. I'm gonna put my bank statement down. Um, <laughs> it's fucking loaded. No, it's, it's fuck, ice. bitch is fucking loaded. Horribly skinny from all the YouTube money. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? High five. Three cents. We're like across yeah, the room. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for a sound. I know on the recording it sounds like we're right next to each other. But that's how <laughs> microphones work. But, but that's science. That's science. Yeah, no, we're it's we're magical. like six, seven feet away from each other at the moment. Oh yeah, it's the perfect amount of feet from you. Besides all of the feet. I have feet. Oh, no, I don't like feet. <laughs> so yeah, we're talking about the game Hatred today. Yes, which I didn't even know was reality. Which is... <laughs> well, I try and stay away from, you know, reality. Things. I watch Netflix because I like my media. Fake. You know, like two months old. Yeah. That's how I take it. Up the ass? Go away. <laughs> and so yeah, this game was originally... It was greenlit on Steam taken off of Steam, and then Gabe Newell was like, I'm not gonna release Half-Life 3, and then it got put back on Steam. Hey, hold on, what was that? <laughs> is that thing about Half-Life? <laughs> no, but what, is, what does greenlit mean, by the way? Oh, well, I see we have some uneducated fool with hey, us man. today. Hey, man. <laughs> um, it's like, if you are not, like, an established publisher slash developer, you can get your game on Steam, or an indie video developer, say. Okay. You can get your game on Steam, uh, you can put it on Steam Greenlight, which just means um, you get people to vote for it. And if it gets enough votes, then once it's done, it'll get put on Steam. Okay, cool. Yeah. So So it, it got greenlit, and then they decided to And then no. somebody was just like, no, this game's too violent. And then, Gabe, and and then that someone caused... someone in Steam? Yes. Okay. And then somebody... And then it caused a big uproar, and Gabe Newell was like, Gabe Newell smash! And yeah. um, fucking put it back on. Cause, okay. Yeah. So that's good. So it's back on Steam. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's when it's when it comes out. It will be on Steam. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna play it. Which is good. Um, because yeah. that's not the kind of. I don't look at Steam as that kind of platform to to censor. Yeah, to censor. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Steam's like Steam's like our hero. You know, <laughs> like putting cheap games out there. Not for the us. hero we need, but the hero we have right now that we have to deal with. <laughs> that's a great way of putting <laughs> Steam. We Actually, love though, Steam. It works a little too well. No, yeah, it seems pretty. Yeah, good. and so the uh, but the developers have basically stated that like this game is about murdering innocent civilians and that's, yeah, all. that's all there's no there's, philosophy there's no point there's no backstory nope they just have that's what they've said yeah now I th the main reason they've done this and they've been honest about this is to get free publicity yeah I know. they're like genius. we want this to cause a controversy so it gives us free publicity yeah they have a, they have PR said our standpoint this is goddamn they have said amazing. those exact words they're not hiding it at all they're being very upfront about the fact that they made it this violent to mm -hmm. get attention so, you know, good on them. I mean, yeah, honestly, exactly. like, I can't, you, I, I know other people are pissed off about it, but I can't blame them for that, honestly. It's just like, well, yeah, like. Now, on, on games that are on Steam, do they, re, they do they re still need a, what, a, what am I looking for? Uh, do they still need a rating? Yes. Okay, so they still do need a rating. It got rated adults only. Yeah, it did get rated adults only, but I was wondering we watched if, a video that would, about um, that. if that would mean anything for Steam. No. And so this probably won't have a console release or anything like that. No. Probably I mean, I doubt it was going to originally. More or less release, like but. a Steam exclusive kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they have like their own website where they're going to sell it to. Yeah. But maybe. Yeah. I mean, Steam might end up being the only online seller that sells it. I'm mean, the only one brave enough. I, and I also, I have a feeling that either A, there is going to be a point to the game, some sort of philosophy. Yeah. And they're just being coy about it. Okay. Or B, like they don't mean to put one in. But I feel like you can't make something like this without it having some sort of meaning you know yeah which is why i'm excited to play it and make so a the video idea, about it the idea or the premise i guess is that you try and kill as many innocent people before you kill yourself yeah it, that's what it looks like yeah. yeah i don't know it's weird like you said there's got to be something to it you know exactly like even if they don't mean to make exactly one, it has thing. to be yeah like, like the idea that you have to kill yourself at the end like what's the point you know it's almost like it's got this like nazi zombies kind of feeling <laughs> where it's like you yeah. You either A, can kill everyone, and then there's closure, and then would you kill yourself? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> or you just can't kill everyone, and so that's why you kill yourself. I feel like in the end, it creates its own philosophy. Of, yeah, exactly. You know, its outlook. Yeah, you can't, you can't help making something so provocative without having it mean something. Make yeah, some exactly. Sort of point. So that's why I feel like when they're like, it doesn't mean anything, I'm like, you can't, it's not like possible. <laughs> so mm. like, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play all the way through it. Um, I might... If there is a playing it all the way through, that's true. Yeah, we don't. This know This might this point. be like an ad nauseum, more of like a uh, 
Stanley Parable kind of game where you just go and you go and then it ends and then you restart and you just do it over and over again. I feel like that's the only way this kind of game couldn't play out. Maybe, but I mean, they also might be idiots. Like, so. <laughs> Not to bring the Stanley Parable down to this level, sorry. Yeah, that's true. Stanley Parable is a great game. Yeah. Do you? Hey, we don't know if this will be a great game. What it's if true. It's like game it of might the year? be fucking amazing. Who fucking knows? I mean, it's been rated, which means that at least a working title, full title exists. Yeah. So, you know, someone on the ratings board knows and it's got a point. And from the video that we watched, there's a lot of gameplay. So, yeah. I mean, it's got to be relatively close to being finished. Do we have an ETA on release? Ooh, I don't know. Here, wait, let me look that shit up right now. Okay, well, we'll pause the video. I do what I want. Dude, I don't give a shit. I'm looking up on my phone. Hey, bitch. All I'm saying is... This is why yeah. people come and listen to our podcasts. Why? For this great phone Googling action. And that. You. Release okay. tape PS4. I don't uh, think so. What? 2015. Damn it. Oh, has a... Has a release date. Uh... June 1st. Soon. Also, it's not far away, yeah. yeah. Okay, hey, we're back. It's coming out on June 1st. It's coming out on June 1st of this year. Yeah, so it's in like two weeks. Shit, man. Damn. Shit, shit dog. That's pretty cool, I think. <laughs> I might, I'll might. i probably like pre-order or something. So yeah, ultimately, what are your feelings? I think you said well, you'd buy the game. Yeah, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. I'm going to play it. Like, you can do some videos on it, hopefully? I'm gonna do a game works on it. I don't I might do some sort of I might do a fucking let's play of it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Like an edited sort of let's play thing. <clears throat> I don't yeah, I'm just there's a lot of unanswered questions right now with this game. And I, I like games like this do often make me uncomfortable. Like I don't like gratuitous violence in games. Yeah, no, so, I watched the trailer, it's pretty it's pretty disturbing. Yeah, it's so I might not be able to get through it, honestly. If it is just literally this I might not, I don't know, we'll see, like... It's one of those things, though, I was looking at, like, it looks like they have, like, pre-animated, uh, like, takedowns yeah. and, you know, executions and stuff, and some of them are pretty bad, but, like, some of them we've kind of seen before, but in a shooter context. Yeah, that's know? the other thing that people are... Yeah, defenders of this game are kind of saying things like, well, yeah, it's awful and terrible, and it is a, just basically a murder simulator, but also, like... Isn't that what Call of Duty is? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, there's that scene in Call of Duty where you just slit that guy's throat and it's all, like, yellow and gory and stuff, and it's like, oh, God. Yeah. And that's unhappy. Yeah, no, what, like, opening like scene of World at War, your your friend that you just met just gets fucking throat slit after having a cigarette put out in his eye. Like, it's not like we're not used to this violence. And then look at, um, look at the no Russian scene from Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. Like, it's not like we're not used to violence against innocent civilians either, in fact, like that level. While it is skippable, I will say this, it is skippable, but it's still there. You know, the it, game designers still thought it was fit. Yeah. You know? And I mean, that scene also <laughs> caused controversy when that Oh, game yeah, it was very out. controversial. I don't know for a fact, but I don't know if it was always skippable. Yeah, and I don't that think was it update. was. I think they updated it. In the yeah, I, but I'm not quite sure on that. But yeah, no. Stuff like that causes controversy. I don't know if that bumped Modern Warfare 2 sales by any means, but it's not like anyone plays a campaign. I mean, the controversy is definitely going to bump Hatred sales. Oh, at least yeah, by one, because yeah. I'm buying it only because it's controversial and yeah, I want to make no a video about it. No one would buy just a generic, you know, third person shooter if yeah. it was against just non civilians. You know, there's nothing new to that. Yeah, and there's a big, there's a long tradition of, especially for video games, getting sold off controversy. Oh, yeah. GTA did it in large part. Just GTA 3. Look at, look at the people who buy video games. These people love this shit. Like, we yeah. love killing things. I, I like, do. That's me. It's, it's just like a. It's a way to explore something that you can't, you know, physically take part in. I mean, I murder I mean, people all the time, so oh, it's a I mean, different. Well, I guess some of us then. <laughs> We can't all be as lucky as you to murder <laughs> real civilians. Ethan looks down. I just have like a knife in his gut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Toxic. Yeah. Gun. No. It's like it's a way for us to take part in something that we can't. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily call it art. It's kind of what I want to say. I mean, Spec Ops: The Line is extremely. That's violent, art. I feel that's like definitely that's art. art. Yeah. Yeah. No question in my mind. It's, that's one of the most artful games I've ever yeah, played. Yeah. Exactly. It's very philosophical. It makes you ask questions. You know. Yeah. 
does this game make a sass question, That's the though, thing. besides well, the generic one of, is it right? Yeah. I well, guess, is it right's an, not an okay question to answer. Yeah, I was like, about to say, like, that question itself has value. I yeah, mean. I mean, but, like, does I think, it need I think to, people do, get too wrapped up. Do we need up? to answer that question, though? Do we need to know if it's right or wrong? And I, That's true, especially in a video game. Play it. I feel like people get too wrapped up in, like, well, did the guy who made it want it to have a point? Like, I feel like that doesn't yeah. matter to an it extent. It really doesn't, yeah. Like, it's just like, well, but does it have a point? <laughs> like, Gotta bring it back to art, because it's like, you know, some pieces are made with meaning. I feel like some pieces are made for other people to apply their own meaning. Oh, yeah, totally. And, like, you know, even if, like, say the guy, I don't know, say it released and someone was like, hey, what's this game about? And the guy who made it was like, it's about enjoying a nice steak dinner with your family. Like, yeah. clearly it's not. <laughs> yeah. So, like, what is it actually about? Yeah. Like, at, there's a certain point where what the what the guy who made it says doesn't really matter anymore. Like, he can say it doesn't mean anything all at once, but that doesn't make it not mean anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, so yeah, I'm I'm weirdly excited to play it just because it's I'm like really excited to see it be played. Like, right now, it's like a mystery to me. Like, does it? Like, is it literally just that? Like, is yeah. Because like, it doesn't. There's something in my brain that doesn't can't accept the idea of a game literally just about violence and nothing else. Yeah. Like, it doesn't like compute <laughs> exactly. I look at so. it. I look at it the way I look at like um, zombie horde shooters. I feel like its style would be very similar. You get a gun get a knife and you just go out and you just shoot everything yeah you know they may not be shooting back but you fucking you kill those bitches like yeah. I feel like that's that's the kind of style that this and I feel like I feel after. like zombies were used specifically to make a horde mode like that where you don't have to yeah you don't have to worry consider the ramifications of what but you're doing. I mean to be fair zombies are trying to kill you still yeah no but they're I'm not, saying like you don't have to, uh, yeah that's true but you don't like you see it in movies all the time. Like, take the Avengers movies. Like, the first movie, the main bad guys were aliens, so you don't have to feel bad about murdering them. Yeah, exactly. Second movie, robots. Don't have yeah. to feel bad about murdering yeah, them. Yeah, like, yeah. it's all, like, fucking, like... Just like Samurai Jack. Like, every enemy he slices <laughs> open in that, in that TV series is a robot. If you, see a ma if you see a main character, a main villain, who is biological, whether it be an animal or a, you know, alien or whatever, they won't get cut. Nope. But if it's a robot, that bitch is getting cut. Like, like getting you know cut, what's up, Cut you know? as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is like zombies were this way of being able to kill things without worrying about it. Yeah. But now it's like you don't have to so worry about it anyways because an it's question. a video game. It's maybe a that video is game. an interesting question. Yeah, because yeah, like what is the difference between like thinking you're not doing it and also like yeah, at the end of the day, even though they these things represent innocent civilians, they are just lines of code. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean like they are no more real humans than zombies are real humans, mm -hmm. you know, like, so, I don't know, I think it does raise some interesting questions, and I'm excited to play it, honestly. Yeah, exactly. I might not be able to get through it if it's as awful as it looks, but, and the game might be bad, you know, I don't know, so. And to be honest, like, a lot of it's third person, so you're, you know, removed from a lot of I was about to say that's that already, like, yeah. a, like, a level of ob ob Yeah, exactly. Ob and it's not, like, over the okay. shoulder, either, it's, it's good old third person. Like, you know? isometric looking. Yeah, you know? exactly, so. It kind of reminds me of Zombie Estate a little bit. Yeah, you know what? I was getting that vibe, too. I think that's why I made the zombie comment. Holy shit, I didn't think, yeah. Yeah. For any of you who don't know about Zombie Estate, it's, it's like the fucking best amazing. one dollar fucking yeah. Xbox arcade game ever. In fact, now right after this, I'm gonna go fucking play that shit. Yeah, it's ninety nine cents on the Xbox Live Arcade. Best dollar. Zombie Estate. Zombie Estate Two. We have not played it yet, but it looks pretty. We played good. it once. Well, we played the demo. That doesn't really count. Oh yeah, you're right. Zombie Estate One's amazing. Yeah, we should go buy it. Anyways, it completely losing track that here. That was not product placement, but it was. So yeah, hatred. Oh, I was still talking about Zombie Estate. So yeah, hatred. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. <laughs> yeah. I'll be glad to see you play it. I'm ready for it. Is your butthole ready? No. Will this even be coming out before June 1st? What? This podcast. Will this podcast come we'll out before June 1st? We'll make it come out. 